Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can edit any photo at all inside of Canva using these five simple steps I'm going to be laying out in this video. It doesn't matter even if you're on the free or pro version of Canva, you can still do this. Yeah, boy. So don't worry at all, let's jump into Canva and let's get started. Hey everyone, Benjamin here, a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. If this is your first time on this channel, subscribing wouldn't be a bad idea at all. And if you're an OG, massive respect to you. So let's talk about photo editing. You know, right now it's very easy and straightforward when it comes to editing photos inside of Canva. And I'm going to be laying out all the five steps for you. So let's just do the most basic one, which is uploading your photo inside of Canva. So let me head on to my screen and, um, you know, let me just upload my photos. No, I think I just want to edit one. So let me upload this photo inside of Canva, you can see we have it uploading here and initially what we would have done is clicking on create a design opening the blank canvas and you know just um, slapping your image on there but it's now different now Canva has a new model app which helps you to edit any photo at all in Canva let me show you how this works okay so make sure you are coming to all projects and come to images okay that's where you'd actually see every single image you've uploaded in Canva so I can just choose my image and you see this beautiful pop up that is the modal photo editor app so the first step is copying and creating a composition. This simply means framing your photo and trying to eliminate all other distracting elements in your photo. Okay, and this can be done simply by just copying it. So let's see how you can do this in Canva. So come into the crop um, button over here, or I don't know what it's called. And you can see we have um, three aspect ratios. No, I think there are more. Yeah, there are more aspect ratios. So depending on the ones you want, okay, you just choose it. So I'll go for the four by five, okay? And this is, I think, the 1080 by 1350. If you want to rotate, you can actually rotate your image, but I wouldn't rotate, so I'll keep it to zero. Okay, so something like this, and it shouldn't zoom out. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll just reset and just redo this again. Okay, so the four by five, and that's all I want. Okay, then I'll just click on done. So after we do this, we can now move on to step number two, which is setting the temperature of the image. Okay, so what it simply means is that depending on the mood and emotion you want to drive at your audience, it's very good to set the temperature and the tint of your image. Okay, so you can do this simply by coming in to adjust and in adjust, we should see under height balance, we have temperature and tint. So if you want your photo to be warm, all you need to do do is to move it to the warm section okay which is which looks more of like orange if you want it to have a dull feeling or a cool feeling you just move it all the way to the left okay so that's how to set the temperature and with the tint it just helps you to um, adjust the colors of your image so doing this all together it just helps you to set the right tone and emotion of your image okay so i'll keep my image somewhere here okay so that's all i need and and this should vary with the image you are editing okay but just keep in mind that adjusting the temperature and the thing just helps you to set the right emotion and tone for your image okay now step two is adjusting the exposure and doing some color corrections in your image so let's see how we can do this in canva okay so make sure you are scrolling down onto light okay and we have the brightness contrast highlights shadows white and black come down okay so the first thing we would want to do is depending on the amount of light in your image you would have to tweak the brightness accordingly so if you have you know a lot of light in your image this should tell you that look you have to reduce the brightness of the image but if you have low light in your image you should increase the brightness of the image okay so let's come in here this image has some fair amount of light but i'll just want to reduce it a little bit because i want you know at the end of the day to make the focal point here okay the contrast helps you to separate the blacks from the white so i'll increase the contrast and we can see we have something cool if we are to come to compare you can see the difference you can really see the difference now now shadows would also help you to boost the blacks in the image okay so the shadow parts okay uh -huh. so just to make it less obvious so you can focus on the main part of the image then we have the white simply means to boost the whites you know or the whiter parts in the image okay then we have the blacks you know it's also pretty straightforward just to make the blacks more black <laughs> okay so we have that in here so we see what we have at the moment let's compare it and see 
Okay, I think we have something interesting in here. So now let's move to step number four, which is sharpening and enhancing the details in your photo. So this simply means that if you want to bring out the details in your photos, it's always good to, you know, sharpen it a little bit. And let me just show you how you can do this easily in Canva. Okay, so when you come in here, okay, let me just scroll down a little bit. See under texture, we have sharpness, clarity, and vignette. So just to bring out the details, I can increase the sharpness of it, but please make sure you're not doing this too much okay so i'll increase it to maybe 15 okay should be fine for me the clarity i would want to increase this to five okay and the vignette just to help us focus on the main part of the photo i would increase this a little bit okay if i boost it up you see how this gets to look but we don't want it like that maybe just something cool maybe a cool 40 should be good for me okay yeah and this varies like i said earlier so this is how to bring out the details in your photo and this should also lead us to step number five which is adjusting the saturation and the vibrance of your image okay so now this falls under color okay and doing this would help you to push up the colors okay so for example if you are to increase the vibrance a little bit you know it just adds this extra punch to your image okay and if you are to increase the saturation it means that you are boosting the colors really Really, really really much so you can see if i increase it all the way to 100 we are making the green more greener like everything just looks over saturated and we wouldn't want that at all if you are also to send it all the way to negative 100 the opposite happens okay so i just want to keep it somewhere around maybe yeah 20 should be fine for me the vibrance should be 52 okay and you can see that the photo is looking too sharp so it just means that i can go back in here okay into sharpness and reduce it to 10 okay because i don't want the photo to be too sharp at all and this alone has helped us to edit something nice in canvas so if we are to compare we can see before and after and you know we've actually done some editing in here in canvas just in case you want to use this image as your wallpaper you can now <laughs> do that okay and i hope you found this video helpful if you didn't think the video on the screen is another video i would love for you to watch because you'd learn something extra inside of canva and yes the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video